This is just a little update on Google Forms and some of the options that you have within making a quiz built in. When I go up to the gear and I go up to quizzes, I want to make sure that I have this set up as a quiz. And I also want to make sure that I have emails collected. That's very important when it comes to creating the quizzes for students. Uh, and then I also set up some auto grading for this. So I set up some questions, set up an answer key. When I click on the answer key, I can choose the correct one, choose how many points. I did that for each question. These are just multiple choice, so those are easy. But what gets trickier is when you get to these ones where they are short answer. So the question is, can you do auto grading for short answer questions? And so the answer is yes, yep, and correct. And so when I go to the answer key, you'll see that I put in multiple ones like so, set how many points, and I also marked it that all others are incorrect. So you have a choice there. You can leave it that not all others are incorrect. You can always go back and adjust the grading accordingly. But if you're wanting to do some auto grading, it is built in. So to do that, I'm going to set up a question. I'm going to set it up as short answer, and I'm going to give an example question. Okay, and so with this, then I need to go to answer key, and I need to set up the correct answers. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and just mark this as all others are incorrect, and I'm going to set how many points. And so now I'm ready to distribute it to my students. So I'm going to set up an assignment. I'm going to give a title and I'm going to attach it to Google Drive, or from Google Drive, I should say, attach the form, and then go ahead and hit Assign. And then this is what the students will experience. So they will update their stream. When they update their stream, they should be able to see a quiz. They will open the quiz, or they can actually open it from here, go straight to the form from here, and then they can answer accordingly. And when the student is done and they've inputted all their answers, they'll hit submit and then they'll hit view score. When they hit view score, they need to keep in mind that not everything will be graded automatically because if it is a paragraph box, then it won't be auto graded. Only short answer can be graded. And as you can see, these two went just fine. And so that is how you would go ahead and you could set up grades for students so that way it does auto grade. Um, if you're a teacher and you're wanting to go back into that assignment and you want to see what the individual responses are, you can click on the form and you click on the pencil there and you can go over here to responses. When you go to responses, then you can see it question by question or you can see it by the individual student response. Uh, either one is appropriate. I tend to like question by question for the longer ones, for the short ones, not a big deal, but for your longer ones, it works great because you can go in there and you can grade it accordingly. But for your short answer, then you'd be able to see, okay, were they close enough? And if they were close enough, you can mark it as correct from here. And so if it was close enough, I could add it and I, then I could add points and save the assignment accordingly. What you will need to do still is you will still need to go to the individual and you will need to release the score. After I release the scores, then the students would have that updated response. And then when they go back to Google Classroom, they could go back to the form and they would see the option to view the score. When they hit view score, they would see their results. Okay, and so that is a quick overview of how to set up multiple correct answers for a short answer response in Google Forms.